coming up on the broadcast this morning. Commas, they are not just punctuation, but a way of life. Semicolons, they put periods to shame. Essay writing, students must write five paragraphs to pass this morning's test. And the writing OGT. Lancaster sophomores are taking the test this morning, and they are going to rock. Action News begins now. Not really live from room 167 at Lancaster High School. This is Action News. Featuring, I'm a grammar. Sunny mixed skies with weather. And featuring, Emmy award winning journalist. I said Emmy award winning journalist. See more essays. They ask the tough questions. They report only the most important stories. And together, they make up the most watched news team in the world. This is Action News. Hello and welcome to Action News. I'm Seymour Essays. And I am Ima Grammar. Thank you for joining us this morning. In case you have not heard, the OGT is here, finally, after all that work. Students are taking the writing test this morning, so we have some test-taking tips for them. Oh, but more on that later, because we have breaking news. We do? We do. A fight has broken out on the set of a talk show. Our field reporter studies a lot has more. Studies? Thanks, Seymour. As you can see behind me, a fight broke out during an episode of the Jerry Springer Show. Sources tell me the fight broke out because students were not using commas and semicolons correctly. Commas and semicolons. They have their own rules. There are a few rules to commas which we will review in detail. Rule number one is to use a comma when you are separating two adjectives that describe the same noun. For example, the ugly comma old man went to the store. Ugly and old are describing the old man, so I use a comma between the two adjectives. Rule number two, use a comma before a conjunction, a word like and, when you, are, when you have a complete thought before and after that conjunction. For example, if I were to say, I like cheese and I like donuts, I would use a comma before and because I like cheese and I like donuts are two complete thoughts. Rule three states to use commas when you have items in a series. You already know this. If I were to say, I like cheese, apples, and bananas, I use commas between the three items because they are in a series. Rule number four states to use a comma after an introductory phrase. For example, if I were to say, while I like Ima, comma, see more essays is my favorite anchor, I would use a comma after Ima because it's introducing the sentence. But those are the rules to using commas. Now, the rule for semicolons is very simple. Just think of them as a fancy way of writing a period. Use one semicolon to link two sentences that relate to one another. This is Studies A Lot, Action News. Wow, thank you, Studies, reporting live. In other news this morning, Lancaster High School English teachers believe that students can do well on this morning's writing test if they write fully developed essays. According to the Department of Education, all essays on the OGT are worth 18 points and should have an introduction with a thesis at the end, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Make sure each body paragraph begins with transitions and topic sentences that relate directly to that thesis. Sources tell Action News that transitions, which are words like first, next, and finally, also contribute to a higher score. Finally, students should always remember to be answering the prompt at all times. 
Speaking of essays, Ima, narrative writing is an important issue in schools today. Sources tell Action News that a narrative is a personal story. When writing a narrative, make sure that you have five paragraphs, an intro with thesis, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Your conclusion should have a lesson learned or a reflection of the events that you just wrote about. You should also make it sure that the story is believable. It needs to be something that could have actually happened to you. Make sure that you use imagery, give lots of details, and don't be afraid to use dialogue. Seymour, can you believe all this rain we're getting? I know, it's uh, it's difficult to believe that we have not had one single snow day this winter. Well, let's take a look at the weather with Sunny McSkies. Sunny, when are you going to bring us some sunshine and get rid of all this rain? I don't know, Ima. Maybe when you can magically make police chases and bank robberies go away. Huh? Woo-hoo! It is raining cats and dogs out here. Wow. Well, if we look over here to the west, we have some persuasive essays that will linger till Friday. Speaking of which, when writing a persuasive essay, you should write an introduction with a thesis, three body paragraphs, a counter argument where you state what the side against you might argue, and then bash it, and a conclusion with a call to action. That makes a total of six paragraphs. Students should also try to come up with strong arguments that appeal to the person you are writing to, also known as your audience. It's a great way to get a high score. And now for our five-day forecast. Coming up this week on Thursday, we have the Science OGT. And on Friday, we have the Social Studies OGT. Back to you in the studio. We'll get a final look at today's top stories after this. Are you feeling down? Has your dog taken complete control over your Snuggie? Well, do we have the product for you. It's called the Expository Essay. The Expository Essay is a five-paragraph essay where you can explain something about yourself. It comes with an introduction with thesis, three-body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Normal essays just ask you to persuade or to write a story. But with the expository essay, you can explain something about yourself with prompts such as explain your favorite season, explain something you have learned that is important to you, what's your favorite activity, and who is someone you care about. Before the expository essay, I was really depressed. I had no outlet for expressing my emotions. But ever since my teacher started assigning essays that allowed me to explain myself, I've been happier. Ever since my child, our child, our child, started writing the expository essay, we've noticed a complete change in her personality. She's uh, happier, not as angry, and is writing a lot more. Thank you. The expository essay can be yours for only $499.99. Call now. Welcome back, everybody. In other news this morning, we have found that there are some other rules students need to know for this morning's test. According to the Department of Education, parallelism is an important skill students must know. Now, parallelism is the repetition of grammatical structures. Sentences like, I like hiking, Jumping and playing are parallel because they end in ing. Sentences like I like hiking, skiing, and to jump are not parallel because they do not end the same way. A sign of parallel structure is a shorter sentence that sounds better when read aloud. Sources tell Action News that parallel structure is usually on the test. Well, that is all we have for you this morning. Thanks for joining us. The Writing OGT is coming up next. And remember, read each question carefully, study the choices, select the best answer, 
and write fully developed essays that are on prompt. From everyone here at Action News, good luck everybody.